Welcome back, YouTube family and friends, to a special edition of Mastermind X in the Kitchen. It's Super Bowl Sunday! So, whether you want to see your Bengals win or your LA Rams, we got the dish for you. Say you got the team coming over, you need something quick. You want something everybody's gonna enjoy. What's better than buffalo chicken dip? And with a few tips from me, we can show you how to make it real easy out of a few ingredients to please that crowd of yours. So don't forget to hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel for more great content, and as always, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Comment below if you guys wanna see any certain recipes or different things, and we can get it to you. We do, uh, as a reminder, have an unboxing video uh, which is really super, super, super big coming out down the pipeline. Um, we actually added another one on top of that, so it's gonna be a two-part series. Stay tuned for that. We also got new Legos coming down the line because the Star Wars 2022 stuff is available. So we got some great content coming from you there as well. And we are hitting our one year anniversary onto YouTube this year, or this month, sorry. So, we're gonna get that done for you as well, and a special build for there, so we got tons of stuff coming. Stay tuned into the channel. Let's get this build and uh, dish going, because you got a Super Bowl in a couple hours. Peace! All right, guys, so what we're gonna start with here is our crock pot, and we get premium white meat chunk already shredded in a can. So you definitely wanna go for the premium here, but this makes, this is our pro tip one, this makes it so much quicker. So I'm cooking for a large group, I got 10 cans. This is about 50 ounces of chicken, magic, boom, in the pan. After we do this, we're gonna go for our Philadelphia cream cheese. Now you'll notice that I got one third less fat. The reason we do this and we place two in is so that you get less grease. Using the one third fat, um, you still get the creaminess of the cream cheese. However, there's not a lot of that oil that sits on the top of your dip. After this, we're gonna go ahead with our cheeses. I chose a sharp white cheddar. And then another sharp cheddar in yellow. Now for our blue cheese flavoring, we did wishbone. Again, my grocery store did not have what I normally use, which is Nancy's Super Chunk Blue Cheese. This does just as good. You're just not going to get a lot of that forward first blue cheese flavor. Next, we use our Frank's Red Hot. And I use about half a bottle into this based on how spicy you want it. If you want a little more spicier, use more. But like I said, doing it for a large group of people, I used half. Now we'll go ahead and take it into the pan. On hot for two hours, afterwards stirring, and you get your buffalo chicken dip. Enjoy, guys! <laughs> 